interesting because again like i said police stuff has always intrigued me about it when you know, come to america it happens a lot here in the uk too but i think this is a more poignant one to talk about because the 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 victim in this is obviously a white dude and i thought this is this was kind of goes back to my point that i've been making before about the missed opportunity with the whole george floyd thing say what you want about the whole george floyd thing there's many inconsistencies in that story he wasn't really the flipping sweet angel everybody was kind of painting him out to be he clearly had his issues um some people would say the force that was enacted on him to kind of get him to restrain was maybe adequate if you watch the actual full video you will see that he was tweaking from minute one um before he actually was taken out of the car and all that sort of monarchy so it's not a like it's not like a cut and dry situation it's not as easy as they kind of paint it out to be right but when it happened in the states the one thing that i kind of thought was going to be what's going to happen was that it was going to kind of kick start a change just because it would at least start a conversation about the real inadequacy of police in general right not that police brutality only happens to black people but in general that police are generally shit at what they do maybe it's because of the fucking job maybe it's because of how hard it is um maybe it's because um of what else maybe because of yeah maybe because of how hard it is maybe because of the job maybe because of how much it pays whatever there's a reason for some reason around the world there's so many videos of cops just being terrible at their jobs and I thought that one instance of George Floyd would just get people to have an open debate about it and be able to speak about it clearly because we all suffer from it. Every community, every race of people suffer at the hands of horrible police officers because usually the consequences of police officers doing their job poorly are quite severe. But obviously that didn't happen. The fucking whole thing got weaponized, got politicized, and it got turned into an us feed them thing. You know, it's just it just got messy really quickly, and then the whole point of it was lost. BLM got involved, the riots, people looting, all this sort of nonsense. It just went crazy. So the whole point was gone, and now you know there was all that whole nonsense about what the, what people were saying about like getting rid of police and stuff. Police like just nonsense stuff, right? That obviously does not make any sense. So we we lost that debate completely. But you still see these videos pop up from time to time that just show you how fucking garbage police are at their jobs. And I just, I am at a loss for words at why this is. Why are they so bad at their jobs? Is it because they don't get paid enough? Is it because in general, to be a police officer, you have to be somebody from a particular socioeconomic level that might mean that you might not be the smartest or the brightest to start with? Is it because usually the job puts stresses on people that brings out different sides of people that you would never know unless you do the job? What is it about that job that means that most of these cops that we're seeing these things just happen to be so fucking dumb and so fucking redacted? Like, what is it? Please, someone tell me. This video is a good example of it. Just look what happens in this fucking clip. That was pretty stupid, wasn't it? That's so. Flashing your lights at everybody to let them know that law enforcement was sitting there running radar. Is that what I did? Is that a crime? Yeah. It is? I didn't know yeah. that. You got your license right. registration proof? Exactly. Why would you do that? You're flashing your high beams at people to... In the daytime? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that was a crime. Sir. It is legal to have flashing lights on your vehicle, uh, not being an emergency vehicle. Huh? I said awesome. Okay. And I could take you to jail today for your unsigned registration card, but I just wrote you a citation for that. That's actually up to six months in jail. You think it's funny, sir? I'll take the ticket, sir. I know, but do you think this I'll is funny? This, I, I'm allowed to laugh. I could laugh all I want. Go ahead and step back. Sir, I'm asking you to step out. The, Am I being detained? Yes, sir, you are. Step out of the vehicle. Are you serious? Place your hands behind your back for me. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Place your hands behind your back for me. Oh, man, you're serious, brother. I'm not your brother. Believe me, you're not. Yeah, I'll never be your brother. I'll never be your brother. Exactly. You'll never be my I'll never be your brother. Exactly. You'll never be my baby. Just be careful. I don't want to be your brother. No. Just be careful. Just be careful. Don't jerk away from me. Just be careful. Don't jerk away from me, sir. Just be careful. Don't jerk away from me. My wallet is in the car. Okay, I don't want you to jerk away from me right there. I was right going there. away from the traffic. No, I was putting you in front of my car. Okay. Which is away from traffic. You're, you're arresting me for laughing. <laughs> no. I didn't do anything. I'm arresting you for unsigned registration. Okay, all right. That's fine. Okay? I should stand right there. <laughs> Do you have any weapons in the vehicle? 
Okay. Hang tight in front of my vehicle. Hang tight right here in front of my vehicle for me. I guess I'll see you in court. All right, ticket still stands there. Special restrictions on lamps. Unsigned registration <laughs> card. I gave you till the 23rd of this month to contact the magistrate. Phone number's on your copy there. Once you contact them, they can tell you how to take care of it. Okay. All right, sir. Be safe. Imagine. 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 Imagine, imagine how flipping redacted you have to be to do that to somebody. Okay, the guy was being a little bit of a cunt. Maybe a little bit obstinate. Maybe a little bit smarmy. All right, because he clearly knew his law and stuff and he knew his rights, blah, 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 blah. blah. But like the guy said, you're allowed to laugh. Like, you're not, you don't live in fucking North Korea. You can have a little chuckle if you think that what the guy's talking about is absolute nonsense. You're allowed to laugh. You're allowed to flip and roll your eyes. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Do you know what I mean? Like, but this officer saw it as some sort of a front and got legitimately irate. It probably helped the guy was quite calm after he got arrested and didn't really make the situation worse, whatever it may be. But that whole song and dance, what was that all about? And that's what I said. Like, that's a clear example of police just being terrible at their jobs. Now, if that was a black guy, and he was maybe a bit bigger or maybe looked a bit aggressive and he answered back a bit, that could have ended up to be quite fatal. And we know this, right? It's not even a, it's not even a race card thing. We know this to be true. So I just don't know what it is about that job, man. That job, and it happens here in the UK too. We have so many instances of it. What is it about that fucking job that makes people so terrible? Like so, so bad at what they do. And maybe it's different. Maybe I'm asking the wrong question. Maybe it's not actually a job. Maybe that's the thing about police work. Maybe because it's so stressful and it's so like, it's so like, um, obviously the, the margin for error is so thin, right? Maybe it's not even a job. It's different because you're on like, you're on like 10 every single day. You can never let your guard down because you never know. Some kid could literally blow your face off like how they did to fucking, um, what's his face? to uh what's his name to the guy in fucking the wire you know the guy that goes with whistle the gay guy with a shotgun what's his name and he died unfortunately with a scar on his face in the wire that kind of famous scene he's a kind of, he's a boogeyman of everybody right he kind of robs all the dealers and stuff and jacks them all up and he ends up getting yeah he ends up getting shot in the face in in the fucking uh in a bodega by some kid just end up pulling a gun on him. That can happen to any police officer at any time. And your main mission of police officer is to kind of get back home to your family. So it's not really a job. Do you know what I mean? It's not really a job. It's more than that. Oh, is it Omar? Yeah, I think it's Omar. Yeah, yeah. The little kid, the little kid just blows his face off. So it's not even that. So, so that's that. That's the probably difference of a, of a police of police work. It's not actually a job. It's the fact that it's more than that. The pressure's more. So maybe because of it, it brings out something in people that isn't that no one can understand unless you do the job maybe that's the thing but i just can't with how redacted they are and i think in general it would have helped if the ones that were bad at it just got punished just punish the ones punish the ones that are terrible at it so that everybody can see that the ones that do get that are bad get let go and the ones that are good can stay when they do all that thin blue line nonsense it kind of makes it hard to kind of be on their side in it because the thin blue line means you kind of just make excuses for people being awful at what they do or sometimes bad intentioned but you know what do i know man i'm just some donut from across the pond talking out my absolute ass about things that don't concern me in the slightest <laughs>